Today's video from Sam for us help we're taking a look at the stock or inventory control on the NR500 series of registers. In this video I'm using the 510F but the process is the same across the range. Uh, there's a couple of things you have to do to set up the um, stock control functionality. Basically when you program your PLUs, so in the program mode, PLU, add change and then one PLU at a time we do one of our Barco products um, one of the options is to enable inventory inventory item sorry so if you scroll to line 16 within each PLU you can change inventory item um, to yes and that then basically sets that product up um, as a stocked item I'll do it on a few just so we can have a look at some of the report functionality so it's line 16, inventory item, yes. I think I've already done it on this one, number 17, inventory item, yes. The other thing you can do is you can set a minimum stock level as well. So I'll do that. Yeah, minimum stock here has been set to 10. I'll do it on one more item. So you can also do it by typing in the PLU number. 207 I think I've got set up yet yeah. so as default your PLUs are not inventory you have to go in and activate them just by changing that line to yes you can then set a minimum stock level for each item by going to line 34 minimum stock and then for a hundred they, they use decimal points you have to put in one and then four zeros to get it to be a hundred come out of there what we'll do is we'll put a few sales through so then you can see um, um, the next thing to do actually is to add the stock isn't it so if you go to the X mode so the manager mode then press the cash button um, you've got stock entry here so line 5 is stock entry um, you can basically the same process you either scan your item if they're barcode products scan them it comes up you can either add so we're going to add some stock here. So let's say this is going to be 100. So you press um, the cash button. We're going to say we want our stock at 100. We have 100 in stock. Same with a normal PLU. So 207 PLU add. Um, we've got a minimum of 100 on those. So we've got 200 in stock. Um, one of these add small pizza let's say we've got 15 in stock okay i've got a few more products on there but that's now that's enough to show us um, how the system works so reports you can run a few different reports on the stock so if we go into stock you can run it by group or by minimum stock but if we just do the normal x report it'll come up and say they're all our stocked items so that report is telling me that i've got I've set up stock on four different items and that's how many I've got. So I've got 15 small pizzas, my small mocha is at minus one, large mocha is 200, silicon lube is zero and the repair kits are 100. Um, so we can, if we do some sales, then we can see what happens. So I'm gonna sell, let's say, let's sell a silly amount of repair kits at 99, multiply, repair kit um, I want to see what happens when we run out of something so mocha large 125 times 207 PLU and then if we try and sell that again yes yeah, so you get you can set up this isn't on the machine as standard but you can set up a stock warning as well so that's coming up and saying You've only got 75 in stock and we've set the minimum to 100 um, but you can just you can't ignore it so you can just clear the error and carry on selling the item um, and then if we go back to the x mode we can now run a report on the stock so i'm expecting that to be quite different so let's have a look we've got we didn't sell any small pizzas or any small mockers, but our 
large mockers have gone down and the repair, care, repair kits are down to one from 100. Um, so that's how the stock works, that's how the reporting of it works. You can then go in and override, so if you get a new stock delivery come in, um, there's an option somewhere to edit the stock, so you can do stock entry. Yeah. So if, say if we've got a delivery of 50 repair kits, scan the item, add 50. And then if we try, have a look at the number seven. You can also deduct stock as well. So if you arrow down, so I don't know, say you've had wastage, you want to get rid of five of those. Mock a small, that's probably a bad example because I've got, I've got minus one in stock. So let's do that 207 PLU and go down, subtract. Let's say we've actually lost 10. So there's the option you can reduce them down. So if I now did another report on those, I would expect it to be 10 less than what it was. I see that's interesting because I didn't enter the 10 in the full amount. I did 0, 0, 0, 0.10. That's highlighted a mistake I've made. So mocker large, I need to go in and overwrite the stock actually. So I can come to here and go to stock entry. So I'm not going to add this time. You can replace. So it currently is 73.9. I'm going to say I've actually got 200 in. Again, if I run the report, or in fact, if I go back into the stock entry rather than run a report, 207 PLU. Yes, I've now got 200 on there rather than the 74.9. Okay, so the stock control is pretty good on it. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that they are, um, they're not entry level cash registers, but they're like mid range cash registers, so you can't um, do reordering through them or anything like that. But they, they, do, they, they work quite well in the sense that you, as long as you've activated all your PLUs to be inventory and you keep on top of, um, um, keep on top of your stock, um, then the system does work. Um, so we've got plenty of other videos showing you how to get the best out of the NR500s. Uh, some of those videos will be appearing on screen now. So you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel or visit sunforesthelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.